Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two of character mapping is really what it's called and how to find it and how to pin it. And I mentioned in part one that 2018 is different because it's called insert characters and 2019 above it's insert glyphs. We've already talked about the dockers and where to find it, but I also have it. Well, I actually took it away, but that's good because we're going to find it. So go to go to your windows and your go down to windows go down to windows and accessories and right here is character map click on it and it's going to come up and I've got it right there so when I get rid of it it'll stay there you can actually pin it or unpin it for later but if you wanted to look at all the symbols under wingding I mean, look at them all. I mean, things you, it would take you a while to draw uh, like that right there. All you have to do is click on it, select it, copy it, go to paste. So I right click. I'm going to go under text and it put it in the center of my page. Now, one reason I decided to do the video, it actually put it in a paragraph text because it is a text. Well, if you go to text, convert it to an artistic text, and then you only have that right there. So to let's take that away. Let's right click it and uh, well, there you could pin it to the taskbar. Let's close that window. So when you want it, go to Windows or go to your Windows search. Go down to Windows and Accessories. And then when you get it here, right click, pin to start. Let's see if it did it or not. No, it did not. Let's go to Windows or the Windows Search. Windows Accessories. Character Mapping. It says Unpin to Start. Pin to, pin to Taskbar, I'm sorry, is what you want. Now it's always there. You can keep it there. It doesn't really do anything. It just sets there in the shadows. So if you want another... You can open that up, and let's say you want a clock face. Just select it, copy it, go over and right-click and paste it. Just hit OK. I don't really, you know, you could change it to a bunch of things, but maintain font and formatting. And it's going to always put it in the center of the page. Let's move that out of the way, but it's the same thing. You've got to go to text and convert to artistic text to get just that symbol. And there you have a clock face already drawn. Pretty neat. I'm going to do one more, how you could manually draw something like this, because this is how I started off till I remember that Wingdings had this. So I, this is a Wingdings text. You can actually see it. But this is just a quarter-inch line. So stay tuned for part two, three. Hope that helped. Thank